Hi everybody, uh, I'm Dr. Saad Bayati. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a very important um, issue in uh, oral radiology, and that is infection control. You know, infection control is a very important and vital part in dentistry in general, and in oral radiology as being part of other dental uh, sciences in particular. Fortunately enough, uh, that in oral radiology, if you're just doing an x-ray, you don't have splatter and uh, splashes from the patients. Those are that usually accompany the ultrasonic devices and uh, turbines. Uh, so we don't have to cover all the chair. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the infection control procedure should be strictly followed uh, in each and every part and step of oral radiology. To start with, uh, uh, before you bring your patient to the dental chair, or if you're already working on a dental chair, you should make sure um, that the, you have the full armamentarium of the infection control items that you would need in the, uh, in the procedure so that you don't have to start in a procedure and then you have to stop in the middle and then we start all over again which is a bit distracting and annoying for both of you the, I mean the dentist, the operator and the uh, patient uh, we don't need something different here actually it's the same materials that are used in the clinic are used in the oral radiology and you have the option of the, you have two options one is the uh, using the dis disinfectant spray the one which is uh, uh, recommended by the uh, environmental protection agency uh, make sure that when you use it you use um, uh, uh, those uh, that would uh, uh, where, where you find the x-ray devices and uh, unit uh, handles are written on them. Actually most of the uh, EPA um, certified disinfectants uh, usually uh, include the x-ray <coughs> devices as part of the uh, covers on the surfaces that are used to uh, where you can apply this material. This is one. Second is that you make sure that your gloves are available, the size you are going to use. Third, you should have a set of cups where you are going to place the films in them before and after exposure. And tissue, if you don't have cups, then you go for the option of uh, tissues, disposable tissues that are available or that should be available on a separate desk and then you should also provide um, uh, infection control barriers like the ones that we have here the x-ray covers which are the same uh, used for the uh, dental head uh, rest covers the dental chair head rest covers and you should have also those barriers uh, all of them of course are uh, disposable uh, a piece of advice is that don't try to place the barriers or disinfect the machine in the absence of the patient. Just to give confidence for the patient, make sure that all the disinfection and or the coverage are done in the presence of the patient. This will guarantee the uh, cooperation of the patient and he will feel more confident is that you are taking care of him uh, by taking care uh, of the infection control measures. Now, with all these items present, you must also make sure that you have your lead up one present and disinfected. Now, if you notice that I'm touching all these because I'm assuming that the person who has come before me has disinfected all of these, so I'm not using any gloves so far. Uh, all these are touched by uh, ungloved hands and uh, they are um, uh, 
disinfected or they were covered with barriers before uh, being used. Once the patient is seated and before you start anything, you go to the control panel of the x-ray machine where you start your x-ray machine, one, and second, you should adjust the exposure factors as per the recommended um, uh, settings for the patient's age, uh, type of tooth, and the type of film. It depends whether you're using a digital x-ray sensor or you are using a uh, analog film. All these are done beforehand. Do not place the uh, film or the sensor inside the patient's mouth and then go and do the settings for the x-ray machine or adjust the setting factors. This is for t uh, to, to reduce the annoyment and the um, uh, embarrassment actually for you because the placement of the sensor inside the patient's mouth is a, a bit um, annoying. So try to set all these factors before the um, uh, you place um, the film inside the patient's mouth. Now the patient has come, he sat on the chair. Now let us start with the, with the infection control procedures that we should take. First of all, with ungloved hands, because I'm sure that everything isn't clean, I will take a piece of the infection control barrier. You can see that my hands are not blocked. What I will do is that I'm going to cover the x-ray tube with an infection control barrier. Then I will either use another piece of this one or I will go for the for these covers see I'm trying to place the minimum covers I, I will need <coughs> for uh, this is just to save money save time and make sure that there are no unnecessary covering of all the parts that you're going to touch is done simply and this is very logical is that uh, once you place your gloves on you're going to touch only those parts that are covered never ever touch anything that is uncovered with gloved contaminated hands so once the patient is seated the lead upon is placed I will now put on gloves and hold the x-ray tube with the uh, uh, hold it only from the places that were uh, uh, covered, secured. I will avoid touching anything else that is not covered. Now our ne now the next session is that we will bring a patient, put a film inside and we will see what is the procedure that will be done uh, during placement and the uh, exposure of the uh, film. Okay, thank you.